Our clients usually describe our work as being very well curated and unique to them. So it comes with a high level of detail and expertise that runs through the whole entire project. We are doing everything from A to Z. So we're very heavily involved in the initial design of the house, all through construction, and then filling the house with all of the furniture, the art and the decor. So really it's a one-stop shop that has a personality. And that personality is not the same as the personality of the last project that we did. My name is Amy Storm and I am the owner of Amy Storm and Company. We are located in Glen Ellen, Illinois, which is about 30 miles west of Chicago. So today we are sitting in my home, which is a new build that we just built in Glen Ellen, Illinois, which is about a mile away from where we work. Glen Ellen is a wonderful community in the western suburbs of Chicago. We're surrounded by other thriving towns where we do a lot of business in, but also super quick access to the city of Chicago and to a lot of surrounding communities. We had uh, quite a few goals in getting this house done. Josh and I live a very busy life and as our small business has grown to a larger business and our work has required that I do a lot more traveling, I really wanted the home to feel like a retreat. But also as we're becoming empty nesters, we're realizing our daughters are probably going to be coming home with future spouses and then grandkids. And so we really tried to set up the second floor in a way that there would be room for families to grow and expand. Hi, designer home tours. Welcome to my home. Come on in. Welcome to our foyer. We've covered this foyer wall with an antique mirror and a big slab of Calcutta marble in this beautiful hide rug to create a really textural, warm and inviting entrance. In our foyer, we have this beautiful chandelier. When you turn it on at night, it creates a beautiful shadow on the ceiling, making it very dramatic when you come in the house. People who were driving by had a clear shot all the way from the front of the house to the back. Super cool, right? But not so great for privacy. So we came up with this design sort of mid-construction to add these doors in our foyer. And I found these big, beautiful seven inch round marble knobs which just finished everything off beautifully. We painted all of the doors in our interior and now we have privacy when we go from one room to the next. Now we're in the gallery and we did everything floor to ceiling in a high gloss paint. We wanted to create this moment where you came from the front door, you walked through this more kind of like moody, welcoming, exciting space, and then into the bigger space, which is the family room, the dining room, and the kitchen. Through the gallery, you're gonna see this custom designed parquet floor that Pereza Wood built for us. Off of this gallery, we also created a little nook to hang up coats and purses for our guests since we didn't have a front closet. We put all of our closets in the mudroom. And then we also did a formal powder room off of the entry. So it's private from the living space. If guests are over, they don't feel like they're opening a door in the family room and using the restroom. We are in the kitchen right now, and as everybody knows, it's the heart of the home. So I didn't want a traditional bright white kitchen, but I also kind of wanted a white kitchen. So what we did here was a really neat combination of wood and a more of a dirty white mixture. We used high-end, sub-zero. These are luxury appliances throughout the whole entire house. They are my go-to for appliances. We did some nice things for organization in our drawers, like creating slats for trays. We did beautiful Armac Martin hardware. All of these products 
are really in sync with Anne Sachs. They're elevating our spaces, they're taking them to the next level and really providing just a high level of finishes throughout the house. So this is a natural stone that we put here on our countertop and I picked it for a couple reasons. One, because I'm a big fan of natural stone and two, because I can handle it if it etches. And that is why you're gonna see a lot of Anne Sachs natural stone all around our house. But this marble countertop has all the colors. It's got gray, green, tan, cream, a little bit of red and it's really kind of setting the pace for what you're gonna see as you go through the rest of the house. We did high-end refrigeration over here too. So we've got a fridge, we've got a wine fridge. It's pretty stocked. And then we've got a big, nice freezer here. And then we added some interesting lighting with our smart home technology. Here we've got it under the island and we took our slab up the face of the island and then onto the counter and then onto the backsplash. So we're really using this under cabinet light here to highlight it. Now we're going into the pantry and this is one of our favorite rooms. I really wanted to create sort of a European vibe. So we went with the context. It's a one by six white mosaic with a white gloss. We actually took the tile up the walls, across the ceiling. There's no drywall in there and we absolutely love it. This is probably one of the most important rooms of the house. Not only does it take a lot of heat off of the kitchen, so the kitchen always looks nice, but we actually really love how intimate it is and how easy it is for everything to function. So we use this place for two reasons. One is a pantry storage for our food, but we also use it for some special things that we do all the time. So we come down in the morning, we have our coffee bar, we've got an extra refrigerator and freezer here so we can keep all of our smoothie items and our coffee creamers and stuff. And then we decided to go with two dishwashers in this house one in the main kitchen and one here in the pantry, which is really great when you're entertaining. We can bring everything into here and keep like the kitchen looking really nice. We are in the dining room and one of the coolest features in here is these Marvin bifolding doors. So we can open this one up, slide this back, and now we are out in our exterior oasis. We are in our living room. This is where I hang out most of our days. We did a custom made sectional here. We partnered up with Baker for some beautiful furniture pieces. We made this custom rug with PS Design Collective. And then we designed and had this fireplace made for us. And this is an amazing vendor out of Arizona. We're actually using them on a lot of our projects. The great thing is this is a self-supporting steel structure. This backdrop to our fireplace is Ansax tile. This is a concrete black pitted tile. We've pieced it all together to create this beautiful vertical paneling. It goes from the ceiling to the floor. Everything else in the room is very light and neutral. And then we have this dark striking fireplace that just completely draws you in when you walk in the room. Okay, welcome to our mud room. And in here, we used one of our most favorite Anne Sachs tiles. This is from the Mod Moda collection. And this is black and white terrazzo. It makes this really cool mid-century style pattern. It's made up of like chips of precious marbles that are blended with cement. And so even though it looks kind of like a black and white pattern in the large format, it also has a lot of color and texture. And we actually heated this floor underneath because I never wanted to put a rug down. When you come to our mudroom door, as most people do, and you come in, this is the first thing you see when you enter the house. Come on down to the basement. This is where all the fun happens. This is a big mural on this wall by a local Chicago artist named Emmy Star Brown. And we used this beautiful brown color on our cabinets and paired it with this Anne Sachs tile from their Savoy collection. It is a bronze metallic and it's three dimensional. So the light hits it and just does fabulous things with it. And then let's go see the guest bath. 
beautiful hexagon mosaic tile and matching 12 by 24 wall tile that's called Calcutta Viola. We use it on the walls, on the ceiling, on the floor. We use it everywhere we could because it is so darn pretty. The staircase is kind of a unique staircase. It was a lot easier to imagine up than it was to build, but we wanted to incorporate these soft radiuses in each of the corners as you see them throughout the house in our archways. And we topped it off with a metal handrail that just winds all the way from the second floor down to the basement. These are some of the most interesting lights that we have in the house. These are from Luke Lamp Co. And what we did is we ordered three different lengths and we mounted them up to the ceiling and draped them so you get this really dramatic effect whether you're driving down the street or just going from floor to floor or just walking past them in the foyer. They light up, they can dim, and they're just a striking piece of art. We had this landing up here and we weren't sure what to do with it. So in our office, we decided, well, why not make it a cool little area to hang out? So we did this custom built-in bench seat and then we clad the walls in this wall covering that I found while I was in Bordeaux, France. I socked it away for two years and finally had a great place to use it. Even the light fixture on the wall is like a piece of art. Welcome to our laundry room. It's a very simple laundry room with a lot of punch. And we found this beautiful tile. It's from the Salvaggio collection in the Bianco Nero color. And then white tile on the walls and black countertop. And it just is stunning. Now we are in the Jack and Jill bath. And I'm so excited to show you this crown mosaic floor because we're actually the first people ever to install it. It's a beautiful white tile with these green triangles. And then we use this Ansax Verde marble on the back wall behind the toilet. And we actually used it in the shower in a couple areas. Created a border with the Verde stone, a perfect and beautiful match to our green Idris tile and our crown mosaic on the floor. Paired with a dark black shiny marble with white veining, it was like money. So we love using Ansax tile. Every time they drop a new line, we sort of get like re-inspired. Oh, we could use this here, we could use this there. Now we're going into the primary bedroom. We've got soaring vaulted ceilings, a big dramatic light fixture, and then we just wanted to keep this light and airy and relaxing. Now come into the primary bath. This is where the drama's at. This is our beautiful Ansax floor. We did heated floors all throughout the bathroom. And then we ran this marble tile directly into the shower. There's no threshold. We took it up the wall and across the top. This is actually a steam shower and I used marble in it. Can you imagine such a thing? But if you do all of the prep work properly, you can go ahead and do those kind of bold things in your house. We also used these mini tiles here on the back wall and we matched them with grout and then we matched our stain color on our wood cabinets to that so that the bathroom feels very simple and clean and elegant. I would summarize the end result of this project as a wild success because I'm living here and enjoying every moment of it and no complaints out of me. So thankful for all the hard work that went into it. For me and my family, this is sort of a dream. We never expected to ever live in a house like this. It's a great retreat for my husband. He has a very busy life too. And our kids who are away at college have actually not even seen the house finished. So we're super excited to have them come home from college and be able to relax and live here and enjoy it in the same way that we do.